Let's talk about the automated assembly system. And in this flowchart, what we see here is a part delivery system at station. So it is composed of several parts. To start with, we have the hopper. And the hopper is literally where the container, which is a component, all the components are loaded at the workstation. And usually a hopper will have one type of parts. And if we, the assembly is made of several different parts, so we need a hopper for every single part. All the components will be loaded in bulk at the hopper. This means that part are initially randomly oriented at this step. So the next step we have the selector. The selector job is literally to uh, selector or orienter. This element of the delivery system establishes a proper orientation of the component for the assembly work head. A selector it works as a filter permitting only part in the correct orientation to go through the feeder track. As well as at this step, we have what's known as a parts feeder. The job of the parts feeder is literally that removes a component from the hopper one at a time to be assembly, assembly work head. Then we have the feeder track. The feeder tracks, it literally works to remove the component from the hopper and part feeder to the location of the assembly work head. The feeder track usually it moves the component from the hopper and parts and feed it to the location of the assembly work head. Escapement device. The escapement device here, which is situated here, it removes the component from the feeder track uh, at a time, it uses that are consistent with the cycle time of the assembly work head. So in a way, the escapement device, it makes everything is ready for the assembly work head to be fed into that system.